Okay, good afternoon students. I'm still your computer teacher. How is the break going? We miss you people so much. Uh, today we are going to look at a new topic in our seventh week program development. And the objectives of this class is at the end of the lesson you should be able to define a program, state the characteristics of a good program, state the precautions to be taken when writing a computer program. Notice the difference in spelling of a wedding program and computer. So as I was saying, you have to notice the difference in spelling between program, a computer program and the program of wedding events or barrier events. It is this one ends with only one M. The wedding program ends with M M E. Okay, so today we are going to look at this program development. And first of all, we have to know the definition of what a program is. And a program will define it as a detailed step by step set of instructions used by a computer to perform a specific task. If you have a game program, for instance, you are going to use that program like Zuma to play only games. You will not be able to watch videos on YouTube. YouTube is there for you for you to watch videos. We have other programs like Road Rush or Car uh, Rush where you learn how to drive. They are doing a specific function. That's the reason why the definition says that it's a, it's a detailed step-by-step -step set of instructions used by a computer to perform a specific task. No two tasks. Specific. And a program also consists of a series of instructions that a computer processes to perform the required operation. Okay? Now we are going to look at the characteristics of a good computer program. We say a good computer program should have the following characteristics. One, accuracy. It must be accurate. We say this refers to the degree with which a program functions. A program that is accurate, if you run it the first time, it should give you the same output and the same result. If you go to Road Rush, where you learn how to ride bicycle, or Zuma, you are playing, and then your points, as they are recorded, keep changing. The program is not accurate. But in this program called Zuma, when you play the first stage, the first stage, you qualify for the second stage. If you finish the second stage, you qualify for the third stage. That calls for the accuracy of that program. Then, readability. The second characteristic that qualifies a good program is readability. We say the program should be written in such a way that it makes users to follow the logic of the program without effort. A child that is in primary school will be able to use Zuma because the logic is clear. Once you hit the balls and the break in their colors, it will give you other balls or until you com completely destroy the balls, it will promote you to the second stage. So that is what is called readability. And then maintainability as the third attribute or characteristics of a good program refers to the ease with which changes can be made to satisfy new requirements. That means a program is maintainable when you want to introduce new changes to it. We have Zuma of 2019, we have the one of 2020, is better. They have improved on the quality of the pictures and the balls. That is what is called by maintainability. Then we have the fourth quality is called efficiency. We say every program, every computer program requires a certain processing time and memory. Okay? When you want to install or download an app from Zoom uh, Play Store, Google Play Store, it requires a certain number of space on your phone or your computer device. So that is what is called efficiency. You should be able to tell somebody that this program is 1 kilobyte, 2 MB or 3 
gigs or gigabytes okay then we look at the precautions of writing very standard and good programs we say that do not rush when developing a computer program you should not rush at all because this is a logical thing if you rush you are going to miss other steps so you are advised not to rush at all then the second precaution to take of necessity is that you should not skip a step in program writing you must follow it sequentially hmm? if you miss a step that means the whole program will become haphazard the third step is be stable steady and patient during program writing you must be stable just like i showed you people in basic programming you must be stable when you are writing a program so that you don't make mistake the fourth and the last step is follow the order of execution okay when we write programs in basic what we normally used to do is after that you save as a file with a dot bus extension and then go to what run program and then it will execute so those are the precautions of writing a good program but at the end of this day i want you to revise this i want us to summarize this topic by saying that the program is a step-by-step -step set of word instructions used by a computer to perform a specific task. A good program must have the following characteristics. It must be accurate, it must be readable, it must be maintainable, and it must be efficient to the use of every user. So we are going to continue from there. Goodbye for now. Thank you.